This is what you should look for if your yogurt won't set in a yogurt maker or in a warm oven. Now, this information is relevant for anyone that's either doing stovetop uh, yogurt making or using a yogurt maker, such as an Instapot, for example. Now, usually the main problem in this area is that they are not incubating the yogurt at the correct temperature range. Yogurt should be fermented at between 105 and 115 degrees Fahrenheit. A lot of yogurt makers on the market unfortunately don't abide by this 105 to 115 temperature range that is needed for yogurt to properly solidify. And these yogurt makers can make, you know, regular people like you and I trying to make yogurt a little bit frustrated. Now, of course, not all yogurt makers are bad. There are quite a few good ones, but this is the reason why I personally have chosen to start making yogurt the old fashioned way, which is using my stove top and then a warm setting on my oven. My results, thankfully, are so much more consistent with the technique that I've been using. If you're interested in that technique, please consult this YouTube video that I put together. And if you're interested, let's look into those two main bacteria that are present in yogurt making. The first main bacteria present in yogurt is Streptococcus thermophilus. This bacteria most prefers the temperature range of 95 to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. And now the main role of this uh, temperature range and of this bacteria is to acidify the milk down to a lower pH. Once the milk reaches this lower pH, then the second bacteria ramps up and starts working. Now the second species in yogurt is called Lactobacillus delbrueckii, subspecies Bulgaricus. And this bacteria ferments at a specific temperature range of 109 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, this bacteria has a main role of solidifying the yogurt into making it more solid, giving it that yogurt texture that we all enjoy. So bacteria number one has a purpose of acidifying the milk, and then bacteria number two has a purpose of solidifying that milk into the yogurt texture that we all know and love. Now, what does this mean? This means that if you're using a temperature range that is too low for the two bacteria, as a reminder, these are the temperature ranges. If you are outside of that range, then your bacteria are not going to ferment appropriately and you will not get the re desired result because they are not within their desired environment. Now, if you are, you know, within one or two degrees, that usually is not that big of a problem. But if you're doing your entire fermentation outside of that preferred fermentation temperature range, then it is most likely uh, to be the reason why your yogurt is not setting. Now, there are quite a few yogurt makers out there that actually do not operate within the preferred temperature range of the second bacteria that has a preferred temperature of 109 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And these yogurt makers are usually operating at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, for example, which means that the second bacteria, which is your solidifying yogurt bacteria, is never actually getting activated. So it's incredibly normal for your yogurt to not set because it's just not uh, being stimulated enough for it to solidify your yogurt. Now, some of you may be saying, well, Matthew, wait, the temperature range you're saying is 105 to 115, but bacteria number one prefers this first half and the second bacteria prefers this latter half of the range. And that's why usually most yogurt professionals are going to use the number that is smack dab in the middle at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is the temperature that I use in my home kitchen where I have the most success with all of my yogurt fermentation projects. And so a quick overview of my process is you heat the milk up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, you then cool it down to 115. You inoculate with your previous batch of yogurt, one teaspoon per liter or quart of milk, mix it around. By the time that you are done mixing and preparing and distributing, your milk, your inoculated milk, should be at about 110 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. You put it into a preheated oven uh, in a water bath if you have the ability to do that because it creates a very stable temperature for the bacteria to uh, metabolize the milk sugars to make yogurt. And usually I personally get my yogurt fermented completely set between uh, three and a half and about five and a half hours, my yogurt is completely done. If your yogurt is runny or underdone, what that means is that the second bacteria 
hasn't had the opportunity to ferment enough for it to solidify your milk. And so it is really important for you to double check the temperature range that you're using. If you have found that your yogurt maker actually isn't fermenting at a high enough temperature, what you can do, do your yogurt fermentation, do the whole thing, and then when you pull out, you're probably still not set semi-liquid uh, yogurts, put it into a warm, slash hot bath, which is at about maybe 115, so the upper range of that second bacteria, and come back within 15 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour, and you should see a noticeable difference in the set texture of your yogurt because you will have kickstarted that second bacteria and your yogurt should set at that moment. You can get a successful yogurt fermentation within three to six hours very easily. I've been doing it for years already and I have had foolproof success. Now, if you are for sure using uh, the correct incubation temperature and your yogurt is still runny, what I would do is I would double check that your yogurt culture that you're using is still uh, good and it's not contaminated. Maybe you need a new one. And I would double check to make sure that you are heating your milk up to 180 degrees uh, Fahrenheit to make sure that you denature the proteins appropriately. And if uh, those two things are solved for, then your yogurt should work perfectly fine. If you're still having some runny yogurt, then I would say please ask in the comment section below and either myself or maybe another community member can answer your question. And I do want to thank you so, so much for watching my video. And if you like my content, please be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.